gentlemen, welcome to XWF episode 2. Um, last week was a great success, you know, the fans loved it. We had some great matches. Luke Loin, Zeke D, Mike the Viper Jacobs, and Doc Karn went through to the next round in the Demolition Series. Tonight, the owner's been spinning his wheel backstage, so we're not going to have to watch through that again. But, uh, we got a whole new lineup of people who are looking to go through the Demolition Series. Um, hey, what the hell is Dr. Karn doing here? He's not even booked tonight. Uh, okay. W whatever. If Dr. Karn wants to just come down in the middle of me talking, then fine. He can do that. You know, don't don't bother asking me. Wait. He's wearing a Luke Loin shirt. What the hell is he wearing a Luke Loin shirt for? I'm trying to say. You know. What is he sticking up for Luke Loin's now because he went through? He thinks, oh, I'll wear a Luke Loin shirt because I don't have to fight Nightmare. That's what the, that's what this is about. He's wearing that to get all, you know, all friendly with Luke Loin's just because he knew that if Nightmare went through, Nightmare would kick his ass. That's what that's about, Doctor. You know, I respect Doctor, but, you know, what the hell, man? Why are you wearing a Luke Loin shirt for, man? When are you going to go around shaking everyone's hand now? For God's sake, man. Hey, man, it is a brilliant concept. Why is Dr. Karn, what's he getting at? The Demolition Series is awesome. Brilliant concept. That's what it is. You know, he's just talking the obvious. I mean, everyone knows that's what it is. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What the? <laughs> Dr. Can? You, is he jumping on the bandwagon now of hitting the CWO? No, they don't. They do not break the rule. He's going to end up loop like Moon Loins. He can wear that shirt. What, you know, oh my god, what is he doing? What is he talking about? He's gonna get himself in trouble. Listen, Doctor, you're standing on a fine line, man. You want to be careful with your wording. Okay, so Dr. Karn, he, he's getting cocky now, like Luke Lawrence, and he's going to end up getting put in his place as well. You know, I, I was rooting for the doctor. I wanted the doctor to get through. And if the doctor's going to do this, then I'm not voting for the doctor anymore, man. You, you know, you piss with the wrong people, you're going to get in trouble. All right, this is our first match. It's Dominic Spade from uh, the Poker Kings tag team, which is Dominic Spade and Curtis Clubs with the manager, Tony Diamond. Um, it's sort of like last week. Where uh, I saw we saw Hawk from the Birds of Prey. These guys, uh, the Poker Kings, are a great tag team, but I've not really seen them do much singles. So, you know, maybe this will be that breakthrough. Maybe Dominic Spade can win tonight, get a breakthrough into the singles competition. But if not, you know, if he doesn't win, I've got plenty of hope in the in the Poker Kings. They're an awesome tag team, powerhouses. But you know, they they're fast. They're big guys. They're big bruising guys. But you know, they do that move. They, they both do this move off the top rope where you jump, do a flip, and grab their head and pull them down. And they're big guys. There's a lot of force behind that move, you know. So, you know, they're not necessarily average big guys. They got some speed to them. They got some power to them. A bit of Pantera as well, man. You know, Dominic Spade, he's getting my vote in this. I don't know who he's against, but I like Pantera and I like Dominic Spade. So, uh, this guy gets my vote tonight. I don't know who his uh, opponent's going to be in that. Wait a minute. I recognize that music. That's Tabak. Havoc now, he's very overlooked. He's a veteran. You know? I've been watching Havoc in the ring since 2005 in the CWF. And I, I, I don't feel like Havoc gets enough recognition. You know, he's a great wrestler. He's a good brawler as well. I mean, he's got the grapples, but he'll punch you in the face as well. He's not afraid to give you some punches, you know. I've seen him win a couple of titles through his life, but I just still don't feel that he gets the recognition that he needs. He's not quite, you know, he's not a legend in his business when he has the potential to be one. So that's a shame. What else is there to say about it? You know, he, he's part of T-Unit group. 
faction, as it were. Yeah, that's Havoc, Big Rebel, and Big Foster. Um, they're a mean group, you know, they're assholes, and they're, they're proud of it. You know, why are they a faction? You know, they don't care about tag team gold. All they care about is just getting in the fights, ready? So, uh, that's the unit for you, and look, you can see Havoc, you know. He doesn't care what the crowd thinks, he's just shouting at the crowd and shaking his head. Look at him lean on the ropes, he's so cocky. Then let's get his match on. Dominic Spade, straight behind Havoc, and a strong backdrop right at the start there, crushing Havoc. Um, Havoc's used to these, oh, a drop kick, see what I mean? Dominic Spade, big guy, drop kick. Oh, hit it. Let's see. That's a contrast I like with Dominic Spade. The drop kick. Then the next move is a clothesline which will take your face off. You know, look at this Dominic Spade hip toss. Shoot, that fury. Havoc doesn't know what's hitting him. Dominic Spade using a sleeper hold here. Havoc breaking his way out with a little draw breaker. Havoc lifting up Dom Spade. What's he going to go for? Strong punches. You know, Havoc, he's a brawler as well as a grappler. He'll punch you. He'll kick you. He'll slap you into a headlock, elbow to the back of the head there. And these punches, these strong fists, you know, have it. Sometimes he doesn't even care. It's for the rest of the match. He will just punch his opponent until he wins. We'll Spinning Dominic Spade round and shoulder into the ring post there. Strong move. Dominic Spade, he's trying to recover and Havoc's just throwing these fists in his face over and over. Look at these punches. Dominic Spade's down. Havoc just booting him. Just punching him, punching him over and over. A kick to the ribs there. And a boot to the face. You know, this is what Havoc likes to do. He likes to get you in the corner and just punch the hell out of you. Just punch you until, you know, you don't know where you are. And that's when he'll make his move on the wrestling and, oh, spinning, spinning him over. A little boot to the ribs there. Just taking the wind right out of Dominic Spade. And Dominic Spade flipped down and headlocked by Havoc. Turning it around, Dominic Spade getting behind. And he'll punch the ribs there. And throw in Havoc over the ring. Dominic Spade, whoa! Heavy clothesline to the outside of the ring. Havoc doesn't really know what hit him. Dominic Spade's getting out there before he realizes. Throwing him into that barrier. Just a strong headbutt there. Crushing the skull of Havoc. He's got a pig Havoc up. And again, throwing Havoc into that barrier. And again, using his head as a weapon to just cave the skull of Havoc in. And picking him up before he even has a chance to recover. And well, he's getting him back in that ring, you know. Could he finish it? Oh, God, a heavy elbow there. Dominic Spade doesn't like being punched in the face. When Havoc was just punching him in the corner, and, you know, Dominic Spade's pissed off now, and he's going to start getting, you know, he's going to start getting a revenge. And what's this? Throwing Havoc down on the floor. And Havoc's trying to get up, and he's turning over. That's that move I'm telling you about. That overcastle by Dominic Spade. Crushing, you know, pin him. I reckon it's over. But Dominic Spade's obviously not, you know, What's he doing? Oh, he's going to go for the submission. You know, that fall Nelson locking it in. Oh, oh, oh. Havoc's broken out of it. And using now into the grapple, Havoc. A little kick to the chest there and double axe handle followed by a little clothesline to the back of the head. Havoc, you know, using his brawl and techniques as usual. But, you know, if it wins matches, it wins matches. You know, it's legal. T unit. Oh, on a clothesline neck breaker, you know, what was that? Was it a clothesline? Was it a neck breaker? It's a bit of in between. Uh, Havoc making his own moves up as he goes. I, I love it. Oh, throwing some more punches. Dominic Spade elbow. Oh, ducking the clothesline. Oh, he's setting him up. The King of Spades right in the face. Go for the cover. It's got to be over. I'm calling it's over. One, two, three. Now the ref's saying that, that was the closest two I've ever seen. That was a close two, man. You know, I don't know how how the hell Cavett kicked out of that. And then hitting the hip toss and Spade going for the cover again. That's a one, two, and Havoc kicks out on the two count. You know, Havoc did well to kick out that move, man. I've seen plenty of people get pinned by that maneuver. And Dominic Spade making a comeback. Oh, Havoc, a boot to the face. On a boat of lightning. A boat of lightning. 